Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Saurabh Baroda and I work as an assistant professor in the Department of Endocrinology at Dhyanand Medical College in Hospital Lutheran. So today I'll be discussing with you a very important topic, whether erectile dysfunction in diabetes can be treated or not. Because many individuals think that erectile dysfunction is not a treatable condition. But the good news is that we have many options for patients with erectile dysfunction in diabetes. So briefly, first of all, I would go through what is erectile dysfunction. This is inability to achieve or maintain erection firm enough to cause sexual intercourse. So it is more common in diabetes and occurs at earlier age in patients with diabetes as compared to the non-diabetic individuals. The various causes of erectile dysfunction in patients with diabetes include psychological causes, decreased blood supply to the penis because of uh, atherosclerosis, nerve dysfunction leading on to uh, uh, difficulty in erection. Number fourth is uh, there is hormonal imbalance that is testosterone deficiency, which can result in erectile dysfunction. And at last, there are some drugs to treat hypertension in patients with diabetes and hypertension, which can cause erectile dysfunction. So how can we prevent erectile dysfunction in patients with diabetes? So for prevention, the most important thing is good glycemic control. We have to control the blood glucose level. So so as to prevent the development of erectile dysfunction. Number two is control of blood pressure is very important. Third is control of lipids. Number fourth is uh, we have to ask the patient to quit smoking. Number fifth, the patient has to cut down the alcohol. Uh, number six, regular exercise definitely is helpful in the management of this condition. Now, if the patient has developed erectile dysfunction, the treatment of erectile dysfunction include phosphodiesterase inhibitors. These are the drugs uh, which causes vasodilatation inside the penile vessels and results in increased blood inflow to the penis, resulting in erection sufficient to perform sexual intercourse. And these are considered as first-line drugs for the treatment of erectile dysfunction. And these drugs include sildenafil, tadalafil, and, and many others in this group. Uh, the other option for treatment of erectile dysfunction that we have, these are prostaglandin analogs like alprestadol. It can be given intracavernously, that is at the base of the penis, it can be injected. The technique is simple and it can be taught very easily. Uh, or we have pellets that can be inserted inside the urethra with a response rate of around 50 to 60 percent. So if patient does not respond to these drugs, then there are vacuum devices to help the patients. Uh, these are easy to use and patient can use comfortably. Uh, if patient, even if even some patient, few patient, if does not respond to the, these kind of treatments, then last we have penile implants, uh, which can be used in patients with diabetes with erectile dysfunction. So along with the drugs and the surgical options, we are able to treat majority of patients with erectile dysfunction. Uh, last but not the least, very important factor is the drugs causing erectile dysfunction. Like patient, if the patient is having hypertension and is on beta blockers, so beta blockers commonly cause erectile dysfunction. And patient is on antidepressants, antidepressants, various types of antidepressants can cause erectile dysfunction. So to stop those drugs, uh, leading to erectile dysfunction is very, very important. And a healthy lifestyle and uh, quitting smoking and alcohol is very important. So, and if there is psychological cause of erectile dysfunction, in that case, uh, counseling with psychologist is very important and helps many a times. And if erectile dysfunction is due to hormonal imbalance, giving testosterone injection can help in some individuals. Uh, with erectile dysfunction. So we have almost treatment for almost each and every cause of erectile dysfunction in diabetes. Uh, but uh, the important thing is patient needs to seek the treatment and needs to talk with the physician so that he or she can avail the best option and, and, and it requires evaluation before starting any treatment. That's all. Thank you.